he has pretty much done about every digital thing that you could dream of while he's been at GC. He's been the VP of media for the past year at GCSA. Um, he's done video and podcasting in Colorado. He did screenwriting and video this last January in the Caribbean with Maddie. And he has been prolific in all areas of the app. He consistently pushes himself and he has taken his skills to the next level.
every time to unveil my portfolio. So this is a Parallax WordPress theme that I purchased off of Envato. And for the past few weeks, I have been heavily involved with editing the PHP and parts of the CSS. I'm going to show you guys just a little bit, before I dive into the website, just a little bit of what the CSS looks like. So whenever I saw something that I didn't like in the template, I had to change it through coding. So freshmen, learn how to code because it's going to come in handy. I spent hours restyling the template and adding all of this, oh, so much custom CSS, and using the inspect element in the Chrome browser. So yeah, but first, I just want to go through kind of the look of the website. Like I said, it's a parallax WordPress theme. I sort of really like the idea of a single page displaying all of my information that kind of guides the viewer through a subjective, uh, kind of a, a, a subconscious narrative. So here I am, look how cool I am. Here I am and all the stuff that I do. And here I am, please hire me. <laughs> so this is also a responsive theme, so it works incredibly well on phones, tablets, whatever suits your digital media fancy. So a lot of people, the colors are also gray, red, and white. And the reason why it shows red was because I feel like it best fits my personality and what I do. So red is bold, it's passionate, it's confident, it's strong, it's energetic, and it commands your attention. So I feel in some ways red best represents me and the style of work that I do. You may disagree with me, but you would definitely be wrong. <laughs> a question I also get is why the sideways square? It reappears a lot of the time through my website. It ties together a lot of the elements to give it a more consistent look. And the reason I tell people that it's a classic square with a little twist on it. And that's sort of been my thinking throughout my years at Greenville College is how can I take a pre-existing idea that's already out there, already been done by somebody else, and add my own flavor to it to make it unique? Or as the lawyer likes to put it, remixing. And this is hopefully what I've done with the WordPress theme and with all the work that you are definitely going to be seeing tonight. So diving right into my portfolio, you can see that I have this awesome video here. In the About Me section, I have eight fun, interesting facts about me. You can read all that about them later. With a neat, nifty little button that takes you straight to my resume and all the stuff that I have done. Going into the portfolio section, you can see that there are divided up into four different categories to sort of mimic my strongest abilities. Oh, okay. We're sure we're here. Video, graphic design, animation, and even photography. So, I'm a video guy, as you can tell from my video reel. I live and I breathe the visual. And I love how the medium of video, a video can encompass thousands of images to, help to tell a story, and how those stories can make people cry, how they can make people happy and make people fearful about stuff that's happening. I love videos that assume that your audience is paying attention, whether through complex storylines or through quick, witty, humorous dialogue. And that's hopefully what you're going to see with this next sort of video that I'm going to show you guys, which is Writer's Block. Writer's Block is one of my most prized videos. And Austin and Tyler, if you're watching through the live stream, this was that to you guys. Um, this was done for the 2013 Hit the Hour Film Festival with Austin and Tyler. And I teamed up with them to create this video that went on to win first place at the festival and also win gold at Best of Show at the American Advertising Awards. Uh, so our concept was simple, to build up three motifs in that start of the 50 hours. The three motifs for that year were a toilet paper roll, a shot from a tree, and this, this, the line from Breaking Bad, scientists love lasers. And we went through countless ideas, and some of them were actually super, super depressing. But for before kind of finally getting inspiration from a scene from the film Seven Psychopaths, where Colin Firth's character is Colin Firth is telling be told by his friends what to write for his screenplay. I helped write the film alongside Austin and Tyler, and all the editing was left to me. And I love to edit, even though I have a lot to learn about the process and how to color correct and everything like that. It just fits well with my perfectionist personality and how I can't stop working on something until even the tiniest of details is exactly where I want it to be. And I love that tediousness and the feeling of a project that's coming together. And there were points that I didn't think this video was going to come together. But as I learned very quickly that you have to stick to the video in order for it to succeed. So I'm going to show you guys, everything works, I'm just going to show you guys a quick clip from Ryder Fog, which is absolutely my favorite.
all you could say to someone is, go. I think to explain to someone else, I would just say it's so refreshing. And um, really, it's just a time where you are so in tune to what is going on around you that the Lord can really speak and he can really work in ways that you don't necessarily see. <laughs> While the video is my thing and I love doing it, there are other skills that I acquired here at Greenville College. One of them is graphic design, and it's been invaluable learning how to design well. This helps me when I frame my shots for my videos and my photography, and even helps me when I am animating. All of them are actually intrinsically linked. And all the designs that you're about to see have had practical effects on the students this year. So as I mentioned before, my one of my roles this year has been the Vice President of Media for GCSA, and one of the first things I had to prepare for was the all-college hike. So these are the designs that I came up with. So for this, we would need a Facebook event cover, we would need chapel slides, we would need t-shirts, buttons, stickers, you can just name it and I had to do it. And I wanted the designs to focus more on the hiking, so I had a little guy walking amongst the rolling prairies of Greenville, contrasted with the big bold Adrena font that kind of neatly stacked on top of each other with an Irish green background. And you'll notice a lot of my designs for GCSA are, they're big, and they're bold, and they're and that's really, to, that's really meant to grab people's attention spans as they're walking to class or wherever they're on their way. So that's all college hype. Another one of my favorite designs has been for animation. This is going to be my final animation project, which is going to be forthcoming. Um, we basically have to do a title sequence animation for a movie or TV show, Austin Star Wars. I did the TV show Firefly, which is my favorite, and you should all watch it because it's awesome. Each slide and illustration is sort of it's a character from the show with a landscape or a background that really best represents the character. Like Austin with his minimalist marble, I sort of have a tendency to lean towards minimalist, not because I'm lazy, because these took me a very, very long time to do. Uh, I really like the clean style of it because you're challenged to make your animations and designs interesting by what you show, but really what you don't show. And again, this animation is a work in progress, but once it's done, you'll be able to view it on my portfolio. I'll share a link. It's going to be awesome. So, yeah, favorite designs. Along with graphic design, I've also grown a passion for animating. Um, it's very tedious. It's very time-consuming, and it fits well with my perfectionist tweaking attitude. And it's a lot like editing videos, where you can go into the tiniest, minute details and edit it. And my animation style sort of matches my graphic design style, where it's very big, it's visually bold, it's very clean. Case in point is my second, uh, <laughs> people know what this is, my second <laughs> animation project was the kinetic type of typography video, which is basically lyrics popping up on the screen, you're making it look cool, you're animating it. And I chose the song Shia LaBeouf by Rob Cantor, and if you guys have not seen the original video for this, go and watch it, because it's the best thing ever. Um, it's, it's a hilarious song, and I wanted the design to sort of match the goofiness of the song. And I used a franchise bold font to convey a bold and aloof feeling, and a color palette that I could switch back and forth between easily between all the different words that I use. You're walking in the woods. There's no one around, and your phone is dead. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot it. He's following you, about 30 feet back. He gets down on all fours and breaks into a sprint. He's gaining on you. You're looking for your car, but you're all turned around. He's almost upon you now, and you can see there's blood on his face. My God, there's blood everywhere. Thank you. 
of fun look on how the logo could be animated. So, there's that. And, of course, last but not least is my photography. Now, I haven't shown off a lot of my photography. These are kind of the new themes you're going to be seeing tonight. The first series I'd like to show you guys is Home. And as the title suggests, I was able to go home over spring break. And I had a few spare hours, so I went out armed with my camera and a sense of adaptability to shoot whatever I thought would be interesting. And I'm a lot like my granddad, where we take, we take walks and discover new things to capture on our cameras. And it looks big because we live kind of live on a 100 acre property with woods, prairies, and lakes and ponds. So I just want to kind of, I'm just going to show you two photos from this series that I really, really like. And you guys can check out the rest when you have your spare time. So this is a horseshoe that hangs above one of the barns on our property. And I, lo I really love the texture of this photo because you have the rough wood against the rusty horseshoe and the rusty nails. See that five times fast. In terms of composition, I really like my subjects to either fill the frames or to be slightly offset with a lot of white space. Um, and the horseshoe really fills the frame and plays well with the gray with the background. I also find it really humorous that the horseshoe is upside down. Normally you have it right side up to catch all the luck coming into it, but if it's upside down, it's all going to spill out. And I think it's funny because I don't believe in luck. And as Joaquin, as Joaquin Phoenix character says in Signs, I don't believe in coincidences. The second I want to show you is a rope from one of the swings that hangs over one of our property. And this has been the source for a lot of my pondering over the past few years. And I had to shoot this a dozen, probably a dozen different times to achieve the look that I liked. The macro focus sections of yours from one part of the rope blurs out the trees, and you can't tell where the rope starts or where the rope is ending, which I kind of like. That's kind of like my eye view when I'm sitting on the swing. I sort of do. So that's kind of my idea whenever I look up from that. So moving on to my new series. Just kidding. I have a new series. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so this is my perspective series. And these are of my wonderful fiance, Mary Todd. And she was either willing or unwilling. It depends on who you talk to. Um, and as I was kind of sitting on the ground for one of these photos, taking pictures through a gray the one the part out of the swing in our woods, I thought it'd be interesting to have her stand in the picture. So she patiently stood there. You can tell she's probably kind of aggravated with me at that point. Just standing there as I took pictures. Um, also with this one as well, with her standing up in the distance with the, rust, the rusty hole in the barn. I love, you can't tell what's in the background. And again, she's offset with a lot of white space. And I really just find that very fascinating. The next two are kind of my favorite photos, not because my fiance is super pretty, which probably is why, but regardless, it's probably where I ran up to her, told her to stay right there as I ran up to her and started taking pictures of her until I was like on my tippy toes to kind of achieve the look that I wanted. This was the result of it. Um, I really like the natural effect of the photo with the winds. You can't really tell where she's looking, and the warm and dark tones really help out the size and the naturalness and the warmness that I would want it to convey. With the photo. So, moving on to my last series. This is my experimentation with night photography. And I had to kind of Google settings to figure out what I was doing because I'd never done it before. And these were taken the night before the lunar eclipse. And this is my favorite photo from the series. I love, oh, it's kind of dark, but if you look on, that, on, your, screen, on your screens, you have my house.
kind of end where I began. My home has been the location for dozens Sweet kid. I'm really blessed. <laughs>